David Rifkin is a Conservative commentator who served in two previous administrations in the Justice Department under Ronald Reagan and George Bush Sr. Does he agree that in appointing Matthew Whitaker, President Trump is pinning his colours to the mast with respect to the Mueller investigation? I think it's a bit of an exaggeration in the following respects. The Mueller investigation is pretty much over. As you may know, most of his key lieutenants have left have resigned, gotten back to the private sector, rotated back to uh, Maine Justice. His investigation really is over. He's mostly working on the report that um, I don't know whether it's a matter of weeks or a couple of months before he's done. So he's not really pursuing new matters, okay? And he's turned over a number of other things to the, uh, to the line U.S. attorneys. So it makes absolutely no sense at this point in time, politically or substantively to curtail Mueller. And I, I, I frankly think the reason Sessions is gone at this point in time is because of deep discomfort that the president felt with his style of leadership on many things, not just the recusal uh, from the Russia investigation. It was preordained, it was inevitable, and the president is entitled to have an attorney general or any other cabinet member he's comfortable with. Uh, of course, nobody's questioning his right to uh, to fire Jeff Sessions. When you say that uh, it's really just a question of Robert Mueller now uh, finishing his report, Matthew Whitaker, in his role as the new acting attorney general, could quash the report, could he not? Yes, he could. In fact, uh, legally, it's quite unclear whether or not that report is subject to being released. This is because Mr. Mueller is a special counsel. He's not an independent counsel like Ken Starr and others that were put in place when the, the particular statutory vehicle uh, uh, for that existed. So it is some, uh, so the modalities of releasing this report are a bit unclear. But look, this is Washington. If this report is not formally released, it will be leaked. And I very much doubt that there would be a, a, a fight over its release, in part because I expect this report to be somewhat anticlimactic, much, I think, to the disappointment of, of many Democrats. Um, so, again, uh, it's water under the bridge. I happen to think that Mueller uh, uh, exceeded uh, the uh, ambits of a proper investigation, uh, including this whole notion that the president can obstruct justice whilst discharging the core constitutional powers of his office. I've written about it. Uh, there are other people who believe in that. Some people disagree with it. Some lawyers disagree with it. But all of it is water under the bridge. It's it's all it's all pretty much done. Well, even even if he is in the middle of writing his report and some action is taken to to, to block the report, before that happens, Mr. Whitaker could prevent Robert Mueller from pursuing any further investigative steps, couldn't he? Such as subpoenaing subpoenaing the president. Of course he can, but with respect, <laughs> uh, that's why special counsel is not a law unto himself. He has a, a person who supervises him, a principal officer. It could be the attorney general, could be the acting attorney general. Uh, there's nothing improper about that. I mean, it's called accountability. It's called actually institutional checks and balances. I don't know anybody who seriously suggested the special counsel should not be supervised by anybody. So. Um, no, but if the, person, if the person doing the supervising has, in the past few months, made it very clear that he thinks that the special counsel has already overstepped the mark in terms of the, the remit of his investigation, then it could be construed that it's an impeding of the investigation if he intervenes in that way. Well, but <laughs> forgive me, impeding in what sense? The whole notion of supervision, if I were supervising you, I'd be exercising my supervisory authority. Um, and the fact that my views about what your job should be, how it should be done, differs from yours, is not unusual. It happens all the time. So under that logic, any time a supervisor uh, properly instructs his subordinate how to do things, is that impeding? No. Well, I use That's the I word I use the word I, I use the word impeding because it's been used by. Uh, a Republican senator, Susan Collins, said that it was imperative that the ad administration did not impede the Mueller investigation. And she's not the only Republican who's come out to say that. Mitt Romney, who won the, the race for senator in, in Utah, he said the same. Well, one important caveat, I think it's essential for your listeners to appreciate it. They were talking at that time about an uh, intervention by the president, okay, into the Mueller investigation. 
Now, you can say as a constitutional matter, even that would not have been inappropriate, but would have been perhaps politically troubling. But we now have a new environment. We have a new person, Governor Mr. Rosenstein, who is the Deputy Attorney General, not for long in my opinion, who is supervising Mr. Mueller. Uh, I don't think any person can seriously suggest that for the Mr. Mueller's new supervisor to give him some marching orders would be inappropriate. Again, how could it be inappropriate? I mean, Mr. Mr. Mueller, he's not a law unto himself. Um, so we, we, the, the comments by Su Susan Collins and others are just not apropos at this point in time. You appreciate the distinction in trying to affect the Mueller investigation from the White House versus having an appropriate supervising official, namely acting attorney general. The thoughts there of David Rifkin, a conservative commentator who served in the Justice Department under Presidents Reagan and George Bush Sr. Do stay with us here on News Hour. Later this hour, we'll be exploring where President Trump's relationship with the media is heading. I'll get the views of his former press secretary, Sean Spicer, on, among other things, a Trump campaign ad that was pulled by the networks after some described it as racist. If we start down that